thank you for joining me in Calgary today an important for this important update on the work our government is doing to improve food safety and better protect children in licensed child care facilities across Alberta. Last fall, Calgary experienced an unprecedented E. coli outbreak across multiple licensed child care facilities in the community. For many families, this was an extraordinarily difficult period marked by weeks of uncertainty and fear and distress as parents face the un unimaginable uh, challenge of watching their children struggle with serious infection. And I had a chance to talk to some of those parents and it was heartbreaking to watch what they had to go through. The outbreak lasted 51 days, affecting 17 licensed childcare facilities. This resulted in a total of 448 cases of E. coli linked to the outbreak with 39 individuals, including 38 children, being admitted to hospital. This crisis underscored the critical importance of food safety. Acting swiftly, Premier Smith tasked Minister Jones and myself with finding solutions to prevent a crisis of this magnitude from happening again. We acted quickly and established the Food Safety and Licensed Facility-Based Child Care Review Panel comprised of experts with knowledge of licensed facility-based childcare, food service establishments, and best practices in food safety, public health, and clinical management of E. coli in children. Their mandate was to thoroughly examine all the details and circumstances surrounding the outbreak and propose recommendations to strengthen legislation and improve inspection processes governing food safety in licensed childcare facilities and the kitchens that serve them. The review panel, <clears throat> pardon me, the review panel has deliberated and analyzed all relevant legislation, regulations, standards, and guidelines, including the Public Health Act, food regulation, institutions regulation, and the Early Learning and Child Care Act and regulation. This past spring, the review panel shifted focus and held a series of engagement activities to gather additional insights from affected families, affected child care providers, subject matter experts, organizations and associations, and the general public. This collaborative approach ensured that the recommendations would be both practical and effective. Through these sessions, we learned that parents and operators want children to be in an environment where food handling practices are consistently followed. And parents also stressed the importance of reestablishing trust within the food safety system. I am pleased to announce that the review panel has completed its assessment. After seven months of thorough work and stakeholder engagement, they have proposed 12 primary recommendations and 27 sub-recommendations. These recommendations focus on three key themes. themes. <clears throat> Fostering a culture of food safety that supports high quality, safe and healthy learning environments for children. Enhancing public policy, legislation and inspection systems for food safety. And improving system alignment and integration. So these themes are crucial for guiding the recommendations under consideration and in shaping a food system safety system that is trustworthy, accountable, and centered on the needs of families and their children. So work will begin immediately to implement several recommendations, including establishing clear expectations and frameworks for public health inspections. Work has already begun to increase the frequency of public health inspections and to improve response times in childcare facilities with food safety concerns. Planning is underway to implement the recommendation to raise awareness of reporting mechanisms for parents and staff, enabling them to report food safety concerns and unsafe handling, as well as uh, working within, sorry, unsafe handling practices within licensed childcare facilities and food establishments serving these facilities. So this will also include the option for an anonymous reporting, and we know how important that is. Additionally, planning is underway to require all licensed child care providers to prominently display their most recent public health inspection reports in a place where parents and guardians can easily see them when dropping off or picking up their children. 
So these recommendations are thorough and provide us a roadmap by which we can start to make changes that will improve food safety and better protect young Albertans in childcare facilities. It's important we get this work right and are thoughtful in how we implement these important recommendations so that we can protect the health and well-being of children now and into the future. The approach we are taking prioritizes immediate actions to enhance food safety in licensed childcare facilities while also considering longer term recommendations requiring further analysis. We understand that some recommendations may affect the broader food service industry and we are committed to engaging with stakeholders throughout the implementation process to ensure that we get it right. In closing, I want to express my sincere gratitude to Rick Hansen for his leadership in this initiative. He and his team have done an outstanding job. This work has not only been about understanding and analyzing the outbreak response, but also about laying the groundwork for long lasting improvements. Your team's dedication, Rick, to this cause will help ensure that our licensed childcare facilities and the kitchens that serve them are not only compliant with the highest food safety standards, but also serve as a model of excellence in this industry. So thank you again, Rick and team.